This is a picture of the Kansas City Chiefs in action, who are off to a 3-0 start in their young NFL season. That's already one more win than the team achieved all of last year. Such turnarounds are fairly common in football, as the game is rigged to help prop up struggling teams and trip up successful ones, all in the name of parity. I have long marveled about the irony that the most socialist institution in American life may be none other than the National Football League. In contrast to baseball, where teams from larger cities have a lot more money to play with, the NFL pools its billions of national TV revenue into one pot and then divvies it up equally among all teams. The NFL also imposes a strict salary cap on each team. This is why Green Bay, Wisconsin, the nation's 152nd largest metro area, can field a competitive team. The worst teams in a given season go first in the next college draft, and they get an easier schedule, meaning today's losers are likely to be tomorrow's winners. Such socialist policies that punish success and promote equality have meant that fans in most cities, even in Kansas City, taste success reasonably often.